Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, with my co-host, Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I'm good. Good? I'm tired. Tired, really? Dude, I've been working nonstop. <laughs> <sighs> Me too, kind of. Not really. I'm glad I have these next two days off, man. Oh, you do? Two days off in a week. Mm. I, I think I have an idea of what I want to do with these two days off. Sleep. That too. Okay, that as well. Yep. Got it. Got it. I want to play. I want to go play some more Horizon. I think I'm gonna go back to it. Really? Yeah. I would be very happy if you do that. I, I want something to play, and I, I haven't think like figured Horizon. out what to play. So Horizon I think I'm Zero Dawn. Go... Seal approval. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to it. So good, Alex. Did you forget? What? <laughs> well, this, Alex. Just in case you did forget, is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we break down the previous week in gaming. We go over, talk about it, and maybe. Maybe you just might learn something. Just maybe. <laughs> if you like that, please go over, support us on patreon.com slash easyachievers. Um, and if you like free stuff and you're a freeloader, hey, don't worry. We're freeloaders too. Please. God, yes. Five stars. Check out our socials. Social on me, twitter.com slash evm9000. Alex, where are you at? I am <clears throat> at a crazy flip skater on at Twitter. Crazy flip skater. Tweet, uh, tweet at us if you got like a question, comment, concern, thought, idea, anything about the podcast. Really, just ask a question. But what we're going to go over this week is Sony's game acquisitions and their plan for PS5, the Pokemon Pokédex controversy, Alan Wake acquisition, Cyberpunk romances, and the install size. Summer Games done quick did a qu- uh, quick charity. You like what it did there, Alex? Uh, mm-hmm. the, we're going to go over the PlayStation games and uh, the games with gold and PlayStation Plus. Uh, the PS4, EA Access, Google Stadia, Witcher. Why doesn't he have two swords, Alex? Why? And NBA 20 got a release date. Well, let's just get on let's to it. Let's start it off. Got a with lot to talk about. What I'm more excited with. Alex, what have you been playing? Um, Well, Fortnite. I'm not really? going to lie. Yeah, really? my wife and I have been playing some Fortnite because yep. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really been able to or want to play anything, mm-hmm. but now I think mm-hmm. I'm going to go back to Horizon. Have you been playing this season at all? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. I'm um, trying often? to get up tiers. Uh, Maybe like two hours every couple of days. Maybe Got I haven't it. I haven't played in a couple of days because I've been busy. Yeah, since I'm off now. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um, delve into it. What brought you back? Literally, what that? What, 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 I, I mean, you I just playing again. Yeah, yeah. I, I had nothing to play. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not feeling anything. Right. So I was like, you know what? I'll go back to Fortnite for like a night. Just uh, my wife wanted to play. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, I'll play a match. Got, I got hooked. Got hooked again, yeah. Got hooked again, All those yeah. challenges. It's satisfying. Yeah, yeah I, I do enjoy that all the challenges are unlocked because all the weeks are through. So now, like... I think uh, we're on week eight. Yeah, because I was, like, tiers, like, 16. So mm-hmm. I was like, I have done nothing. Mm-hmm. And, like, in two, three hours, I, I, I jumped up, like, 20 tiers just because I was doing all those challenges. Unlike you, I've kept playing throughout the week because uh, it's mm-hmm. kind of like a, me, a thing me and Rebecca do. Mm-hmm. Um, every Thursday is challenge day. So we get oh. on either Thursday or Friday and we do the challenges together. That's cool. Uh, I'm on 98. So Ooh, two more. You're, you're close. Two more I'm done. Oh, wow. That's very exciting for me. How how long did you say we have left? We have like two more weeks left? Two no, days? because the, oh, week, the season week 10 is, yeah. and then they do like another week usually and then usually they do one more like half week mm-hmm. for overtime challenges is what they call it where you like yeah. do extra challenges and get stuff. Yeah, there's some things I want from this season's battle pass. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to try. I'm going to be honest. I like the, the top tier 100 one. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay. I like it. It looks good. I'm excited to get them. All He's right. like a cool, like, everyone looks, it's not cyberpunky per se, uh, yeah, but yeah, they, yeah. I mean, they look futuristic, futuristic, yeah. but like with their own like kind of Fortnite okay. twist to it. So I like it. Okay. And there's a chicken robot Gundam thing that looks Oh, really the cool Voltron too. looking yeah, thing? Yeah. yeah I, like I saw that, that. Yeah, he looks I like cool. that guy. All right. Let's see what these Alex, aren't you going to ask me? I forgot. What a... Well, Alex, thank you for asking what I've been playing. <laughs> what have you been playing? <laughs> well, you just told me. Fortnite, of course. <laughs> no, what, what have you been playing? Uh, I figured you've been playing more. <sighs> yeah, a little bit. Moonlighter. How is um, that? It's a indie game by uh, 18-bit studios, 64-bit studios. Apologies okay. for forgetting, but fantastic game. The way I found it, Game Pass. Threw it on, looked down over mm-hmm. on Game Pass, saw it sitting there. I was like, let's try that. I heard it's good. Started it up. It's mm. it's a weird it's a weird game to describe. You kind of have to play it for yourself to really kind of get it. Okay. Because it's me describing it is going to sound fun, but essentially you start off as a merchant, and he wants to sell stuff, right? He wants to make money, but he also kind of wants to be a hero. And in this world, like 
people don't see the merchant obviously as the hero they see like heroes that come into the the town as the hero Mm -hmm. and what he does is he goes into these dungeons and fights monsters and the monsters drop various items you pick the items up you leave um the dungeon i.e through like a teleporter or this little thing you have to put money in and basically teleport you back to your house and then you basically spend like you can open your shop up and sell the stuff they got and there's a there's it's both dungeon crawler linked link like to the past zelda game also like a business sim almost Weird, like okay. a super simple business sim but it's still like okay. business sim where when you go to your shop you open your shop up and when you put an item for sale, you have to put it at a reasonable price or they're not going to buy it. Okay. So these are all communicated through four different faces that the person will make when they come in. So if they see an item and they look at it and, and they don't like it, you come like a mad, a mad face. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's a good price, let's get a happy face. And if it's too cheap, a face comes up with coins for eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's and like goes bling yeah, yeah so that tells you oh that's too cheap i need to up that price oh wow okay. and you slowly like build up monies and it's really pleasing to like oh hey i want this armor piece so you can put it on your wish list mm. and it tells you the items you pick up throughout the world like keep this for this ar- armor piece and you come back and you buy that armor piece things are pretty expensive but you can <clears throat> you can like keep going back to dungeons and farm it until you get to the right amount of money to where you're like slowly getting stronger. Very satisfying, and that's literally all I've been playing. That with a little bit of sprinkling of Fortnite and yeah. Apex, obviously a little bit here and there. But Moonlighter, try it out if you like anywhere close to liking mm-hmm. dungeons, Is and it- if you like kind of having a side project aside from fighting dungeons okay and you said it's on game pass game pass yes if okay. you have game pass on xbox i'll give it a try go it on xbox be honest no idea where else it is i'm, I'm pretty sure it's on pc I'm okay pretty, it might be on ps4 don't know i know it's on switch okay i do not know if it's on ps4 all right. um yeah that sounds on. fun alex all right thank you for asking <laughs> Sony Interactive Entertainment considering game company acquisitions. This is over on Gamatsu by Sao Romano. Basically, them detailing uh, the actual Sony Interactive president, Jim Ryan, going over the acquisitions they want to do. So, it didn't really give full context on it, but just giving gives you kind of a glimpse of what they want to do when PS5 comes out. So, I'm pretty sure they, they're eyeing some more studios just to kind of bolster they're um already big studio i'd say oh mm. they're already many many studios i mean good lord they have two of the best studios right now sony santa monica and um naughty dog of course yeah but that gives you a glimpse in the ps5 alex what do you think ps5 is going to do what it, what in you, reference you, i want what? you i want you you are mr jim ryan right now you All are right. a ceo of sony you're rich af oh god what do you do to make sure ps5 succeeds or sorry continues to succeed because the ps4 of course already massive success don't overprice it (laughs) (laughs) what is your definition of overpricing honestly i feel like because i mean it does sound like it's very very powerful right like let's say it's very techy in the context that we've been given i just i don't feel like they should go over go over five would you buy it if it's over 500 i don't know you don't know so if it's 600 okay i feel like no buy i feel like eventually right not straight off okay i would i think i would wait a couple months to uh-huh. save or wait for a for a sale but i would okay. not stri- i would not like like for example the xbox uh i bought it straight off the, the day one like of course. 500 bucks of course but that was 500 bucks yeah that was a lot of money yeah it was. also we got a connect that was done yeah but i'm saying even with the x I mean the X. Yeah, was, good point. Sorry, the X was five also, and I happily gave him that money. I was yeah. like, dope. see, and see, I mean, like, <laughs> but with like when the PS4 came out, uh-huh. I didn't get one till what a year later. Oof, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I got, I got one a year later. Was it really a year? I feel like it was longer than that. But you, I, did I was you like, have one before me? What PS4? Yeah. No, you got you got one before me. Okay. Yeah, you. Have, I know I got mine a year after. Either that or we got it around the same time. Probably. But I, I feel like you told me you got a sale or something. Yeah, really but it, I literally got it maybe a, a couple months to a year after because right. I, I just I couldn't do it. Right. Yeah, but like this, I feel like it's the same way. Mm-hmm. I just I if they overprice it, I feel like I'm gonna people people are gonna be like, 
why am I pay- spending so much? I mean, yes, five hundred is already. It's, I mean, it's already a lot. Of money. Yeah, it's, it's already a lot of money. Might as well spend the six. But still, to some people, that's like, for example, me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's six hundred. That's still another hundred dollars. You're on the you're um, on the better half of a thousand dollars at that yeah, point. Yeah, I'm just. I can't. I don't know. Interest. Interesting that he brings up that he wants to acquire studios. I wonder if that is some sort of way to. Sh- W- basically a, a comment to Microsoft attaining all of these studios yeah, she, of course they've gotten so many with their now I mean they've amassed so many mm-hmm. at this point maybe that's sort of a well we'll do it too you yeah. know what I mean like let's not give them all the credit well, we, we're down yeah we to, could yeah I mean they have so many studios already but they have closed studios so maybe they want to make the I'm sure they don't want to ending miss portfolio out. a little better yeah. even though they've had huge successes with of course Spider-Man oh, and yeah. God of War selling over 10 million units it's yeah. ridiculous moving on we're still staying with Gamatsu here. Pokemon Sword and Shield producer addresses national Pokédex drama. You heard about this, Alex? I have not. So essentially, the masses are upset. By the way, this is by, again, Sal Romano. He's doing a stand-up job over there. Um, but basically, Game Freak comes out and makes a statement, right? Um, and this is, quote, So in previous games that worked with Pokemon Bank, um, and this is me talking r- really quick, Pokemon Bank was essentially things you could store your Pokemon in, so you had an you had a, a basically your history of Pokemon games in one area. So you could pay monthly for the bank service. Yeah. You could put Pokemon into it and that would hold the Pokemon for maybe going into another game that was compatible with it and stuff like that. Yeah. They basically announced that you're not gonna be able to pull every Pokemon that you've ever gotten into this game. People of course got upset because yeah. they want, you know, I'm paying for a service. Why can Why I not use this yeah. new service for this thing? And they wanted to give it out. So back to the quote. I'll just go ahead and start over. So in previous games that worked with Pokemon Bank, service you were able to, for example, in Sun and Moon, bring over any Pokemon, even if they weren't in the Alolan Pokedex. That's the big asterisk, where if they were not in the existing Pokedex, so you could still bring them over. Yeah. Uh, back to the quote. But with this transition to the Nintendo Switch hardware, it's more powerful, allowing us to be more expressive with each of the individual Pokemons. And now we're well over 800 Pokemon species in the game. At, uh, games. Yeah. Oh, they're over 800, which is That's insane. Crazy. Almost a thousand different sprites you have to maintain. Anyways, at Game Freak, we were really thinking about what the best way forward was. Really preserving the quality of all the Pokemon while also taking into account the battle balance. Having so many different Pokemon available all within a limited development time. So we don't keep fans waiting too long for every entry into the series. And after a lot of discussion, we decided to go into a new direction. So what that means for Pokemon Sword and Shield is that players will be able to trade their Pokemon from Pokemon Home only. If they're in the Galar region, Pokedex. Galar is the new the new region. Pokedex, That's the new yeah. one. So you can only use home in respect to that specific Pokedex in Sword and Shield. So back to the quote. So we were really careful to decide on what Pokemon would match the setting of the adventure would be. I'll talk more about these future opportunities such as media interviews, but I want to let you know today. I know that there are a lot of users with the Pokemon service who want to bring their Pokemon to home. So I thought I would let you know well in advance. Basically, bank is transforming into home. Okay. So, so home is the, yeah, new, is bank, the new bank, basically. Yeah. And now, that was the full message prior. Okay. And there is now a full message. I will kind of sum this up because basically him apologizing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quote, thank you to all of our fans for caring so deeply about Pokemon, <laughs> which I love that quote because it's like, yep. hey, 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 thanks for being so upset about a silly thing that's like yeah. fake kind of, you know what I mean? Because it's a video game. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, I shared the news that some Pokemon cannot be transferred to Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. I've read all of your com- <laughs> comments and appreciate your love and passion for Pokemon. I love how underliningly, like, relaxed this is. Like, yeah. I get it. Chill out. <laughs> Just like all of you, we are passionate about Pokemon, and each and every one of them is very important to us. After so many years of developing the Pokemon video games, this was a very difficult decision for me. I'd like to make one thing clear. Even if a specific Pokemon is not available in Pokemon Sword and Shield, that does not mean it will not appear in future games. The world of Pokemon continues to evolve. The Gala region offers new Pokemon to encounter, trainers to battle, and adventures to embark on. We are pouring our hearts into these games, and we hope you will look forward to joining us on this new journey. This was June 28th, 2019, signed by, I'm not going to, Junichi Masuda. Masuda. What do you think of that? Meaning... They're just going to stick with the Pokemon that they talked about. <laughs> right. And they're like, so 
we'll work on it in the future. But for now, this is what we're going to stick with. And this is another, like... Just to not relax. Upset anybody. I get it, I guess, right? You have to maintain 800 different Pokemon and make sure everyone's balanced and make sure everyone has an updated sprite for this game. I did not realize there were so many. Yeah. I mean, I've been... Now, does that count as, like, let's say Rattata? Rattata is one thing. <laughs> does Rattata male and female count as one or two? No, that's one. Okay. Now... I'm pretty sure Rattata Alolan is two different though. Okay, so the, the, any of the Alo- so the so regular Alolan ones variants and Alolan being variants different are different. I'm pretty sure, yes. Hilarious, right? Eight hundred. Now I do get the point of I'm paying for the service, so I want to use it, and it's kind of upsetting that the new game coming out doesn't use the service I pay for. So I understand. Uh, I, well, honestly, I understand. They've said. Have I've, they specified what the price is on that or no? Oh God, yes, they did. If did I was they? a better podcaster, I'd have that up for you. Go ahead and bing that, Alex. Let's see what that is. Okay. Um, I want to say it's like ten, five bucks. A I'm month assuming the normal ten like is like certain little, like services. <laughs> that's that's everything. Ten dollars a month. I mean, Game Pass, Spotify, Game Pass. <laughs> everything's ten bucks right now. I'm pretty sure it's um, Pokemon Home around that. Oh uh, yes, Home is the Got new it. one. Bank is the one that came before, which was like on. 3ds's and stuff and you can basically put oh, pokemon yeah, in this yeah. giant bank and and distribute it throughout your your games and it's funny i wonder if you I, so i'm wondering if you could have used that in um not let's go of course because let's go was not compatible with pokemon bank either but mm-hmm. i wonder if you could do that with the uh what's it called sun i wonder if you could do that with sun where you, like could, they said you could put that's well, crazy you could put 800 was, total oh, pokemon in the game well there was ultra sun and ultra moon as well so i wonder if that worked with that too well, yeah, that was essentially the, the same yeah. game with a slightly different legendary. So is it is it Pokemon. still is it called Pokemon Home? Because I'm yes. literally looking it up and nothing. It is called up. Pokemon Home. If okay. you want to look up Pokemon Bank, that's what I'm the same now. thing because it hasn't did a full change yet. Basically, okay. Pokemon Bank is what exists now, and Home is coming later. I don't even think they've gone into specifics about that yet. All right. I don't believe. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Have you found anything yet? I believe I did. It says, uh, I don't know if this is, it's just it's like all I find, all I found is uh, the Pokemon database mm-hmm. and it's just about people asking Q&As and stuff. How mm-hmm. much, how much money is Pokemon Bank per year? Mm-hmm. And someone says it's four ninety nine and and uh, five bucks, uh, five bucks United States and Canada. That's five bucks a month though. That's not five bucks period. Okay. Because yeah, they didn't specify. Might in be, their might comments. be in total. I'm just a piece of shit liar. I don't know. Yeah, all it says is it's four ninety nine, but it didn't specify if it was a month or a year. Alex, I'm you, assuming month. Alex, do you care about any of this? Do you not care about f- this not for bank? the whole Pokemon. No, no. I just want to no play the game. Shocking that we didn't care about this. About I just want eight hundred Pokemon yeah, that no, I can then now I just put into play this game. the game and have fun with it. I don't right. really care about keeping my Pokemon. I mean, I just start fresh. Like I said, I personally don't care. I do understand that people are upset though, because again, you are praying for a service and you cannot use it on the yeah. big game. Moving no, on, not for though. this for this service. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't care for it. Mm-hmm. I'm Same. not big crazy into it like that. I just want to enjoy Alex, fun. what does Dragonite do? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks fake adorable. Fake Pokemon fan we got. <laughs> it looks like an adorable version of Charizard. There you go. That's actually true. And it's funny because um, Dragonair looks so cool and it turns into Dragonite. And he's almost like the derpy version of a dragon because he looks like... he. Lo- you remember, you remember um, Dragon Tales, Alice? Did you watch Dragon yes, Tales? I did watch Dragon, Dragon Tales. Tales. Dragon Tales. He looks like he should be on there. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Um, yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find something else. But My no, favorite yes. dragon was the one with two heads. Shout out to you Dragon Tales fans out there. Was he... No, no, it was purple. Yeah, I was, well, I was purple. Kind of, I was trying to they figure out. They talked to each other. Purple. They were the dumb ones. Well, I was trying to figure out, was it them. purple or green? And I was thinking it was both. Was he purple and green? Zach and Wheezy. There we, we have, go. We have commentary <laughs> by our, Rebecca. Our, our audience member <laughs> called in and he's, he's got what? Zach and Wheezy. Zach and Wheezy? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sure whoever's listening to this. How did like, I pronounce that as a child? Zach and Wheezy. I'm Whatever. sure people who are listening to this, they're like, what the fuck is no, Dragon they're Tales? Dead. No, they're down with Dragon Tales. We you don't sure? have like, bitches I'm listen like, to this. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm like 90% confident on that. <laughs> no, no, yeah. We're going to get right into being like, that sounds it's per- not Sack and Wheezy. It's and he, it, and William they, and R. They are, they the are purple and green. The, the boy head is green. <laughs> And the, oh, there were two well, different genders? It, it, well, yeah. All right, hold on. We got to unpack this now. Okay. 
There's there are two separate genders. Actually so two do they have two. vaginas and penises? There's there two halves of Don't? a dragon. Right. It literally one whole half is green. Uh huh. The, the boy. Right. And the girl is whole half is purple. Okay. Wow, we've broken ground here, Alex. I really feel like that. So, being how do these two things mate? Do you think similar to a cat dog situation? Do you remember cat dog? Yes. God, cat dog was really. You good. remember the movie? Their there parents, was a movie. Yes. Spoilers: the parents were a uh, abominable snowman, and then I think. The dad was like a frog? You're fucking I don't with remember. me. There's no way this is real. Yes. You had to have been watching some... No, there's no way this is... Dude, I'm serious. An abominable snowman and no, a that's frog. That's the mom. That's the mom. Was But I think they were adopted. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they were adopted, Alex. How big was this frog? I don't know if it's a frog. I have to figure it out. I hate you. <laughs> Cat dog <laughs> parents. Here we go. Thank you. Let's. We got to delve into this. Fuck these news stories. <laughs> What is what okay? Is the first parents? off, it <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an abominable. It, it looks me, like a big. Me, okay, it looks like a. Oh, it has like four eyes. Oh no! That's okay. That thing is not an abominable. Oh, okay, snowman. first off, think, look at this, ladies that, and gentlemen. That, okay. Please Google. Okay, it's sorry, this, Bing. <laughs> cat dog parents. This that right there is the mother. Oh and no! And the father together. Wait, they're one and the same. So that right there is the father. And ha- the mother? Yes. The mother How is ha- it one being? Because the mother has no nose. So the, the dad becomes the nose. It looks like, oh, look. <laughs> look. See? No. That's the father right way. there. Cat dog, it- weird show. Oh, my God. What is going on today? But it, it, it's a great show. Oh, no, yeah. Cat dog is awesome. Let's continue with the news. That fucks me. All right. How am I going to sleep tonight now? I don't know. I kind of watch one. Moving watch on. <laughs> what what Alan on? Wake's acquisition by Remedy could mean for Alan Wake 2. Now, I don't know if you guys haven't heard. It's actually pretty breaking, too. This happened yesterday. Today. Today. This happened today. today. Mm-hmm. Posted at IGN around 1.30 today. Um, this is written by Lucy O'Brien. I like Lucy O'Brien. She's really cool. Mm. Um, earlier this morning, it was revealed that Remedy Entertainment has acquired the publishing rights to Alan Wake, which was, of <laughs> course, the supernatural detective game it developed exclusively for the Xbox 360 back in 2010. The rights were previously held by Microsoft. But while it was definitely removed a barrier that would make creation of an Alan Wake 2 easier, it doesn't mean a sequel is immediately a safe bet. Interesting that Remedy went to the trouble to get... The Ellen Wake title right now. I feel like maybe they got doing it for cheap or something. I, that or they're just trying to keep it in their back pocket and be like, you never know. I wonder how they got it. Obviously, they paid. Maybe money, unless right? they did that or they can reboot the first one just because you know American American what was it? American, American Wasteland Nightmare. No, American Nightmare. Nightmare. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, was you yeah. had a nail gun? You remember that? Yeah. They made that a big. It, deal. it was more of an arcade game. Oh, so oh it like, definitely yeah. was more of an arcade game. It. It was kind of cool because it went into the, like, hey, you're replaying the same day over and over again. That was cool, but thing, it did get old. The only thing I really cared about it is, like, it, the drive. It, you were at, kind of, like, at a drive-in. So I, it had a, a cool part. aesthetic. I'll yeah. give you that. Yes, it definitely but did. It it's still been so long, dude. I don't even remember if these games are good. It's, well, you know what I mean? Where well, you, like, you go back was. to, a, of course, the first one can be. But you know how controls change, like, in your yeah, head. Yeah, you yeah. think they always control You go well. back to it, you're like, oh, how did I play this? Right? It reminds me of, like, Spyro. Like, how the hell did I pick Spyro? It's like good you game, can change but the controls God, now, but so Spyro hard. back then, Jesus Christ, how do you move? How? Do you, how? you yep. move. Remember when you had to move your camera with RT and L2? Yeah, that was I just really did two move. different controllers for Dude. <laughs> two, that, two different yeah, things for Dude. I like it seems you holding one <laughs> controller in each lap. <laughs> you have to just pretending like it's a one. Might as well just use a keyboard. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Anyways, um, that's basically thing. it. Yeah. There is no nothing else. They they got the they literally. I wouldn't imagine them getting this license and paying the money for them not to make a game. So I assume they are now making a game. This does also tell you that there is no Alan Wake property in development mm. as of uh, now because I'm wondering if there's anything that was at E3 that could have caused this to where, like, for example, I mean, I'm sure we weren't the only ones thinking that Blair Witch game was Alan Wake. I feel like they're just, Remedy just got so, tired of everyone being like, where's Alan where's Wake? Wake at? And then they're like, fine, we'll make it. Just relax. Yeah. Because I don't think... Re- I mean, Remedy did Quantum Break, of course, with yeah. Microsoft, but I wonder if they would even ever want to work with them again, right? Because, I, of course, Quantum Break, I loved, did yeah. not sell well or critically acclaimed because it came out... I mean, Was it just the launch of Xbox One or near launch? It was near launch. I th- it, I th- it was, yeah, it was near it launch. It was near launch. It wasn't launch day. It just... 
I, I don't feel like they should falter them for just being one release to where like, oh, we're never going to work with you again. I, was, at least I wouldn't say they'll like, work with them. Man. I'm just saying like, like sour grapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean? like, They're uh, like, oh, they didn't do as well. We should. Yeah, but, maybe we should like diversify. Now, I feel like the re- That's kind of ignorant me to say because I'm sure Remedy doesn't care if the game sold. They got paid for the, They got paid, so they don't care. Yeah. Microsoft was the one that really needed to make the money back. So, anyway, you know. Potato, I, potato. I feel like they'll reboot it or, or like just like team. Uh, they wouldn't make it too. No one. I mean, it's so at least old not by right now, now. And it was only one game. Really. At least not I right mean, now. I let, if they game, reboot but. the first one or kind of do like a whole remaster, like re redone, like like with new graphics, right. like, kind of like what they're doing with for Final Fantasy VII or like other God, games. That would be awesome. They'll re, re, like redo it with a yeah. new engine. And I think it'll if it'll sell well, they'll make another one. It was a good game. Yep, it was a good game. On to the next one. We're going over to Forbes. I love Forbes. Cyberpunk 2077 will have more diverse romance options than The Witcher 3. This is by Paul <coughs> Tassi. Um, quote, with Bioware having released Anthem, which lets you vaguely flirt with uh, not romanceable NPCs, there really have not been any AAA titles that feature sex or romance in a meaningful capacity for a while, but Cyberpunk 2077 will arrive next year and change that. Um, basically, it looks like they had a DM conversation Uh Powell Sesco, a lead quest designer at uh, CD Projekt Red, posted on Reddit, um, basically updated people on the relationship. This is his uh, quote, quote, romancing is something heavily present in cyberpunk and players will be able to form meaningful connections with other characters as well as go on for, say, a one night stand, which is awesome, by the way, (laughs) since we're not bound by a predefined character like the Witcher, of course, the Witcher following a... uh, witcher that was a heterosexual male so mm. you only you know could have sex with women yeah that gives them more options so we're definitely banging a robot in this how are you excited about banging robots <laughs> i don't know how i feel about it but i guess we'll see does I, your answer to that affect anything because your wife is in the room a little bit no nah. mm. no um mm. fucking sell out <laughs> <laughs> no i mean it all depends on who, who my care my like what characters I enjoy in the story. Of course. So like mean like when we in Mass Effect, I mean, depending on who which character you know you enjoyed the most is who you would have and you're, and you're hitting the nail on the head that what do I want to basically wanted to say yeah. was that excites me because not just because I get to fuck people, but because yeah, just I want to see who that you, brings a new story. The character development right? and who has the generally my favorite romance of a character is what makes a better story yeah. throughout the game. So that will make that definitely makes me more excited for the game. Mm-hmm. And see, my thing is, uh, I wonder if they do what they did with Witcher, which you know they had, they've had three games, and though all those characters, for example, uh, Trish and Yen, right, ca- came back. Right. I wonder if they're gonna have a, a certain characters that you could romance that are like main characters that they'll, mm. if they make a sequel, they'll come back if you romance I assume them or something, so, right? Or like, and they did mention one night stands, so there's definitely people you just yeah, meet that you and bang just and it's do. over. So I'm wondering if, like, let's say there is a sequel, and they and you do ram- romance them in the first one, if they come back, and you're like, oh, hey, you know, we had a thing going mm-hmm. on before, can we try it again, or, you know, and we then had you say history. no, and bam, right in the face. <laughs> Shoot, right in the face. It's futuristic, you never know, they take <laughs> off the arm and it's a gun. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Blades. Yeah, that's what they had in that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm excited. I want to see what's going on. Sticking with Cyberpunk, this is over at GameSpot by Jeremy Winslow. They're going over the install size. Um, it's going to be around 80 gigs, apparently. Uh, Which the, is not bad. I'm not, it's, it's a lot, but it's not as much as of certain games we've seen. Interesting. So it's not, not, not as bad as you would have assumed? Did you think this was going to be over 100? Honestly, when, well, when they kept saying that it's going to be double Witcher, my mind, I couldn't remember what the size of Witcher was, and I felt 50, like... I think. Yeah, see, and I, uh, I thought it was, in my mind, when I thought about it, I was like, damn, that's a big game. I mean, this is a giant game, but I think 80 games. If you think about it, Red Dead was 80, wasn't it? So it was 80 on Xbox, and I remember like for some reason 100 on, PlayStation, on PlayStation, it's 100. I, I mean, think. Call of Duty is usually 100. Um, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, they were Call like Duty's, needlessly huge. Yeah, like for, like no reason. Like so eight to like for Call of Duty to be over a hundred. Like they don't know Cyberpunk the being a, a huge open world game. Uh huh. I feel like it's it's for the um, for the amount of content they're saying that how how big it is. Right. I think it's I think it's all right. 
You just yeah. make sure you get an external hard drive. If, if you're not rocking it. an external hard drive, you gotta go get you one. You gotta get it. it yeah. And, and yeah. now, unless you, you don't really play like two, three games, you're playing Apex, you're playing Fortnite, you're playing NBA or whatever. You just make sure you get those 80 gigs available. At yeah. least 90 to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I, definitely with updates and DLC, yeah. it's gonna go well over 100, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's a little tidbit for you guys. Um, don't forget, though, Keanu Reeves is in it. Which uh, Did yeah. you know he's fake, by the way? Yeah. And did you Weird. see that he's, he's like had, in your head? Yeah, he's he's like a not a, not your conscience, but he's like yeah. I in mean, your head. he I mean he's talking to you. Yeah. And no one else sees. Him. Did you know that he has more dialogue than the, <laughs> the main, main character? character? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's crazy. Which is funny because you saw you know when I saw Keanu Reeves, I'm like oh cool, there's gonna be a quest with Keanu Reeves. Yeah, me. I didn't think. No, he is he's the main of, character. He's basically, more of the almost. main character than the main character <laughs> than you. Yeah, <laughs> very excited. I wonder how much he got paid for that. <laughs> Which he, honestly, I think he. He looked excited to be in it, so I was like, "It's not like one of those character actors who were like, oh, I'm in a game.'" I'm looking at you, Ben Affleck. Why you gotta hate everything? I mean, <laughs> how many people pay to be Batman? And that man's like, "Nah." I, I mean, God, Robert Pattinson's doing it now. Did you see they started That's pre-production? Awesome, right? They started really? the pre. They, they started their Pattinson. I, I can always say Patterson. Anyway, it's all right. Oh, you um, did say Patterson. That's right. I, I, Fake I, Twilight fan I, over here. <laughs> I told her. I told my wife the other day. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, Batson that I've seen, <laughs> like Batfleck. Yeah. So they said doing, Batterson is what it's called. Bat, it's it's Batson? Pattinson, right? Pattinson. Pattinson. But like with the Batinson. Yeah. Batinson. Okay. Hey, I, mean, I don't hate it. They'll make a. Movie. Everyone was all. It's set. funny. They'll make a movie called Batinson or Batinson. So Robin, or okay, something. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I, everyone was all upset when Robert Pattinson got the Batman role. There was a there was okay. a list of movies that he was in. They were like, if you're if you're not comfortable of him playing Batman, go watch these movies and you'll probably you'll change your mind because he's pretty, like a good actor. Yeah, and I heard he's, he's really actually good. really serious. I heard he had parts. like a scene in a movie specifically. Yeah, it's, it's to where like, like I've heard I forget what incredible. movies they were, but you just look them up. Um, and uh, they, I've heard that he, he's a really good actor. Not just from Twilight, but like actually a good serious role. Did you like Twilight? Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. I like Twilight too. Why does everyone pretend like that's bad movies? I don't know. I, I, I first, been, first I've, three I've were like whatever. The fuck out of them with Carly. So I did too. I remember going to see the last Twilight movie, and I binged the previous ones like the night before. This was, of mm. course, in like middle school. Yeah, and I like. I mean, in middle just school, watched all of them, and then went and watched it. I, the first time I came I went over her house. Now I haven't watched it since was, middle school. Watched so. the first Twilight. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a that, that was like a first. That was like a that was like a first then. date. Oh, that's tough. That's fucking adorable. Yeah, that's so, cool. So yeah, I, I mean, it, every time it's on, I'm like, uh-huh. oh, it's Twilight. It's, okay, it, it, that's your movie. See, me and Rebecca's. <laughs> It's it's Batman v Superman, so it's very fitting, I guess. <laughs> very so, different. So yeah, very different movies, I guess. But <laughs> there's fighting involved, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Now they're related. Oh my God! Yes. So now we have a, not only an intrinsic relationship in that we know each other, we now have a relationship in these two first movies that we've both had, being Robert Pattinson in both of them. Now Robert Pattinson's taking our lives. Patterson. Thank you. I like Patterson. I'll leave. Patterson's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Maybe we should email him and be like, hey, man, I know it's <laughs> he's Pattinson. Like, he's going to gonna be on the news. Robert Pattinson has had his and name like, change. Mm-hmm. It's Patterson now. It's Patterson. <laughs> this All right, let's, moving was, on. let's moving on to the next one. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny because I was just talking about this pre, in the previous podcast. The game is done quick. Uh, the uh, fantastic charity that I love. It's okay. one of my favorite charities. Um, they recently did a summer games done quick. And they raised over $3 million in one week, setting Goodness. a new record. Oh, wow. This is over at Kutaku. Ooh, um, Kutaku. Yeah, Kutaku by Zach Zwitzen. That's straight up a Swizen. fake name. That's a... Zwitzen? So I, I would say Swizen. That reminds me of... Um, and you probably could pronounce this better, but this, there's a guy in Suikin and Five. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the way, if you're taking count, I'm pretty sure I've said Suikin and Five every single podcast I've ever yes, been you on. Have. <laughs> so this there's man this guy loves named Suikin and Five. There's, there's, there's this guy named Zweg. How do you spell so, it? So Z W, I believe E I G. So is um, it Zweg? Zweg? I would say Zweig. Zweig. I let me. I, I'll look it up. Zach Zwittenson writes. Summer Games Done Quick. Summer Games Done Quick 2019 has been a huge success, and earlier this morning it was announced that the event had raised 
lay, lay back ladies and gentlemen, three million dollars. So three million, three thousand eight hundred and eighty nine dollars for charities for specifically do, uh, Doctors Without Borders, which of course is a fantastic mm. charity. This easily beats last year's total of two point one million dollars. Still nothing to shake a stick at, and is a new record for the popular uh, event. Hmm. Um, um, and if you don't know, it's a it's basically a giant speed running community run event where they do <clears throat> you know good games done quickly. They play games and they mm-hmm. beat them really quickly, and they do specific fundraising things throughout the thing. Um, the embedded video in this article is Tetris Effect in thirty four uh, minutes and seven seconds. So I guess that was a big deal, but that's cool. Hmm. A good thing. I love again. I love the I love that uh, specific charity. So hey, if you guys want a charity, go go hit yeah. them up. Um, moving on to, uh, we got a little thing where we, uh, we want to give out the, the games for gold. Um, they do, of course, games with gold every month that changes to whatever, if, as long as you're a current Xbox Live Gold member, you are entitled to games. So this uh, month, July 2019, is starting at the top Castlevania Symphony of the Night inside Meet the Robinsons Big Crowd Showdown. So these are two fantastic games, actually. Of course, Castlevania Symphony of Night, mm. I love, and Inside, which is a great game, too. Yeah, it's such a good game. Weird game, but a good game. Yep. Inside, yeah, I, mean, I was not expecting. <laughs> no. If you haven't played Inside, please go play yeah, it. I, of course, if you have an Xbox and you have gold, it's free. So go download it. It's a weird game. Uh, again, good. Literally, you can beat it in a couple hours. But, but it's, it's real it's weird. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, and if I remember correctly, let's go ahead and plug PlayStation Plus. Uh, games yep. were Sonic Mania. Yep. And uh, it was Sonic Borderlands, Mania, Borderlands Handsome the Handsome Jack Collection. That's that's impressive. Only because Sonic Mania, of course, the n- new Sonic game that was made uh, as if it was a a Sega game, an, a really uh, classic Sega game. Yeah. And Borderlands is actually two games in one. Yep. So that's yeah, cool. You get has, Borderlands two and pre sequel. Yep. That's really cool. So if you guys want to, please go download that. Yeah. Well, that was those were the. Um, yeah, those were the games this month. Uh, for for June. June. Yeah, for June. Yeah. Do you know July's? Yeah, for PlayStation, yes. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, it was Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 and uh, <laughs> okay. Horizon Chase Turbo. I don't know what either of those games Honest, are, so it, that sucks. So the Pro Evolution Soccer is the PES game. That usually, which, of it's course, a soccer game. It's supposed to be off I of, think It's supposed to be off of... Like like you know how you it's have supposed to be FIFA right? You, so yeah, so you know how you have Madden, yeah, or uh, there is no other Madden. It's so like NBA Two K and NBA. Thank Live. you. Okay, yeah, yeah, NBA Live or NBA Two K. That's what I meant. Yeah, this is yeah Pez or a FIFA. FIFA. Right. Yeah, I'm. I feel like they're not they, after after they got rid of the Vita games. Did they get rid of PS3 games? Because they haven't given any. No, any. yeah, Vita and PS3 were gone. Okay, rid then. Of. But why? Where's the VR games? Shocking! They haven't they haven't added, improved it in, I mean, in any I mean, way. VR they just is, took away two options, and now there's nothing I, I else. I mean, VR has been out what two, three years. I mean, it, right, we yeah. could have we could get at least one VR game per month, maybe two every two months, something. It's surprising. Maybe that will be a Do big relaunch with PS5. Maybe, but it's Stop. it's very weird that they like let it fizzle out too because they were yeah. like, yeah, we're stopping in March. They gave us a well advanced year a heads up. Mm. Then the year ended, and you're expecting, oh, it's last month. What's going to be cool? And it was just like a whatever month. Yeah. And then. Like, I was excited because I was like, I wanted to get those last couple games for the Vita. And I'm like, yeah. it's nothing, basically. Yeah. Which sucks. And, and again, I'm surprised they didn't want to add anything to it because that's you take what, away two thing. features and don't add anything. That's very weird. Yeah, so because I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, you still get PS4 games. So, I mean, it's not uh, awful, it, but yeah. I mean. This month, I honestly, I don't even know if I'll get the license for these. I don't really care. Really, I mean, bold I'm, move by Alex. I'm never gonna play the Pez. Mm-hmm. Don't even know Horizon Chases. I, I think like we call I it. I think I, I I call it Pez. I, 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 I don't I'm feel like it. I don't feel like saying Pro Evolution Soccer. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard it, this. You, you you know what? You're moving too fast. All right, you you, you don't have time. You no, don't have time. No, I respect it. And then Horizon Chase Turbo. Honestly, I don't even know what that is. Sounds like a racing game. I'm sure it is, right? If I click on it, I'm sure it'll be some it almost weird sounds cartoon. Like, it almost sounds like a, a random name generator, and they started with Horizon and then put the filter they're racing like, game they're like, and what, then hit it. They're like, what game sounded like made a lot of money last year? Horizon? Okay, we're taking the first name of that. <laughs> That's funny. So, oh, my God. Oh, God, this looks weird. Apparently, Horizon Chase Turbo uh-huh. first was first shown... 
in PSX 2017. There's like something popped up for a trailer on this thing, wow. and it's literally a racing game. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you like those games, hey, good for you. Please download it. Yeah, go for it. Free of charge as long as you have the service. Um, and Metacritic gave it a 76. Wow. No, oh, wow. that's not too that's bad. A, and if you know what Metacritic is, that's user like a average, conglomeration of all scores. User average on GameSpot, like because this is on GameSpot, right. like, it says a nine. Which oh. I don't know if that's out of ten, but if it is, I mean, hey, <laughs> be hilarious if it's a nine out of a hundred or something. I mean, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sticking with PlayStation, EA Access for PS4 launches July twenty fourth. Um, Get this ready. is yes, of course. This is uh, from again Sal Romano over at Gamatsu. That man's hustling. I like yeah, it. Man. I like it. He's doing all that work. Yeah, he is. Shout out. I need to tweet at him. Hey, man, you're doing all the stuff at Gamatsu. Good for you. Um, uh, so EA Access is essentially the same service that is on Xbox. Um, I felt like I read somewhere that they were gonna try and change it and have an exclusive game on there or something, but. As far as I understand, it's the exact same service, so it should be fine. Again, you get 10% discount mm -hmm. on any digital EA game. It, of course, it does have to be digital. And on a, including DLC, so if you buy DLC, you also get a 10% off. And it is an instant access to the um, giant library. They have working um, some uh, examples, Battlefield 5, FIFA mm -hmm. 19, uh, NFL 19, Unravel 2, A Way Out, Burnout Paradise, Remastered, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Move it up a little bit. Oh, move it up? Yeah. Right, we're, we're just doing some tech issues on the spot there. there, there. Is that better? Is that better? You guys like that? There you go. Like me in your ear? It just sounded a little, like, it sounded like you're a little too far away. But maybe it sounded, is because I'm wearing the headphones. Of course, of course. Hey, we, we, we want like nothing but the best for the, for these people. There you go. As you were saying, there was just a bunch of games on Yeah, there. there's a bunch of games. EA Access. You know, if you like EA Access, it's worth it. If you, if you don't, don't buy it. It's 30 yeah, bucks I mean, though, a year. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people a lot of people think that EA Access, oh, it's just sports games. There's a it's lot of a other games. No, yeah. There's a lot of other games on there. Like Curious all if, the Dead Spaces, all well, the Mass Effects. So, no. Like not on PS4, though. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Man, there's not going to... I mean, I haven't seen a single uh, uh, game that's backwards compatible I forgot. So that. yeah, that's a see that almost makes me say don't buy it mm. unless you are in, interested in the specific games in that library. Yeah. So of course, yeah. Battle for Five. So just check like it out and see if you're interested in any yeah. of those. Yeah. Because I know you get a certain games and you can get them non discounted, and, or I'm assuming it works the same way as it does on Xbox. You get them discounted. Yeah, no, and ten percent. Ten yeah. hour. You get ten hours. You just fucking early. black out when I said that. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah, sorry. I, I was <laughs> I was reading something else. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on away from EA Access, we're going to Ars Technia, which is an amazing name for a website. <laughs> Ars Technia by John uh, Brodkin writes, Google Stadia exec isn't worried about data caps, wow. but he probably should be. Again, that, mm. was, the, that was the article name. Well, let's get into this and then we can rant or whatever the hell we're about to do. Quote, well, the ISPs, um, and this is me, the Internet Service Provider, if you don't remember what an ISP is, have a strong history of staying ahead of customer trends. And if you look at the history of data caps <clears throat> in those small number of markets, and it's actually a relatively small number of markets that have data caps, the trend over time when music streaming and download became popular, especially in the early days when it was not necessarily legitimate, data caps moved up. Then with the evolution of TV and film streaming, data caps move up, and we expect that will continue to be the case. Why, um, why? The, the article then goes into a little bit more. Um, we can go into the specific um, uh, after this, but let, let's, let's get that specific quote and melt it over. What do you think of that quote, Alex? Um, I, I, agree, I agree that they will move up again, eventually. Eventually, but why? What is eventually, though? You know what I mean? I mean... I think they make a lot of money off of caps. That's that's the thing. I think that they're not gonna change it until they fully see more services out there that are using it. So right now we're getting Stadia, Project X Cloud, Microsoft. Yeah, so Project X Cloud. What else? Right, we got X Cloud. We're getting Stadia, Netflix. I mean, all yeah. of those streaming services. Disney's starting a streaming service. Yeah, right. I think I think I he mean, does those, hit a point. I mean, that those are these, streaming, but uh, like these, like Google Stadia and X Cloud are streaming. Like you're playing games, so it requires more bandwidth, and I mean, of course, more data. So I'm wondering as if they're gonna keep adding. Or, or excuse me, uh, making services like that, then they'll do it. But I think of right now, they're. I don't feel like they'll do it. Maybe in another. I don't feel like they'll change it. Maybe for another year, 
and it's bold, but I'm like, it's it's gonna upset a lot of people. <laughs> It upsets me. I yeah. mean, I mean, God, why? I, I, I would like love cap. for yeah. Take please, just take the caps off. Like, yeah, that's why. I was like, at why this point, just take, just, it, just take them off like, and charge you me look like, like a better I, person like, for it. Honestly, my I pay sixty bucks a month for one meg one hundred and fifty megabytes pay 60 per second. Bucks a month before I upgraded to yeah. no data cap. Yeah. See, and, and I, there is an option for no data caps in our area, but it is another fifty dollars on see, your. That's fifty bucks. Yeah. Now you will know your bill at the end of the week instead of like worrying you're going to go over. But yeah. it's another fifty dollars. That's nothing to sniff at every month. Yeah. See, and that's why I'm like, oof. Like, it. See, once it gets to the point when we had when we were. Oh, there's more services out there that we're gonna require that, then I'm willing to do it. But right now, I'm not doing it. If it was like ten dollars more, twenty dollars more, yeah, I'll do it. Fifty, I'll wait. That's almost as much as the bill itself. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was like, it's nah. literally like, hey, you want to double your bill? <laughs> I might as well just upgrade my internet <laughs> and just make it faster. Now it is funny. My father actually originally, and this was years ago now, but uh, originally we had um. Similar situation of the DAC happened. He moved to a different service. Oh, yeah. uh, luckily, we had a different service. So they did lose a customer. So I wonder if they have something yeah. in the back end that says, hey, you're losing this X amount of people. Um, if we change it, we at least retain who we have and mm. may incentivize people to come back. So hopefully, we do get an increase on the data caps, but we don't know. I'm not going to lie. I do see internet providers going to be competing with each other. So, like, for example... Well, I think that's the main issue we have, too. We don't have that many ISPs in, in yeah. flow. Now, hopefully more people will come into the market. There's a lot of weird laws and stuff around mm. um, new ISPs bringing up. That's why you I don't feel really like see them. I feel like one of them are going to do it, or they're mm -hmm. going to try to be like, oh, for this amount or right now, you can get a limited... Uh, there's no cap. And then, like, for example, like, say CenturyLink does that. If anybody right. knows what Central Link is, it's a it's an ISP just say, that's, yeah, it's that's just around ISP. Georgia. I don't know honestly how big they are, yeah, <laughs> but I, they're yeah, here. I don't know. But uh, I'm sure everybody knows Xfinity or yeah, Comcast of course, or whatever. Of course. So let's say Central Link does it, and it, I mean, of course, they're in it. I'm, it could be better. Sometimes, they, depending on the on the location, it could. It, it's not as good as Xfinity, but let's say uh, they're like, oh, a limited cap for this amount, and then the Xfinity start losing their customers. And goes to CenturyLink. I feel like if if that does happen, ex if those other ISPs will jump on that board or two. But Xfinity could always use some uh, good PR. Yeah. So I feel like they should just do something just yeah. to make some people happy. And well, that or sometimes they could be picky, and they're gonna be Fair. like, oh, "We're not doing it." So we're like, until they get a good kick in the door, they'll be mm -hmm. like, "Hey man, just do it." Now I will agree with some of his remarks, but he, you know, it does seem offhanded. It yeah. seems like, and eh, but you know whatever, because he does go to say a small number of markets. Yeah. Yes, but those are your, still your customers, bro. You yeah. know, so I do sound a little downgraded when he says that because yeah. they are speaking about us. I mean, we have data caps in our area, <laughs> and they say, hey, um, they're gonna go up. <clears throat> well, I don't know that though. They couldn't, and I'm not buying the service because right. I don't want to buy the service and go over nope. my data cap. So yeah, I'm not, not gonna do. It. Yeah, like right, <laughs> like right now, I'm not getting Stadia. I want to, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to pay an extra? God, nope. A gun godly amount if you stream. I, I play one. I, I I play one game through of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, mm -hmm. and and I, that's it. I can't play yeah. anything else. Yep, nothing. But also, that's if you do nothing else. That's Netflix, exactly. So anything like you can't yep. do anything else. So I gotta go tell my wife. She's gonna have to read books every day now. <laughs> nothing but books now, honey. Yep. All right. <clears throat> uh, and he does go on to say, "Oh, ISPs are smart, and they understand, and uh, they want to keep customers happy, mm -hmm. uh, and whatever." And see, um, another thing with it is, we had we do have uh, like part of this article that if you keep scrolling, yeah, they I do see. talk about five G. So I'm wondering if that's going to incorporate anything with caps. Maybe. I mean, they do go into um, data caps have risen, but are widespread as a part of the article. And Harrison could point to some history to make his case that ISPs will raise caps in response to game streaming. Comcast raised its monthly data cap from 300 gigs to a terabyte in 2016. Originally 300 gigs God. to a terabyte. Imagine that now. 
<laughs> no, I can't. Uh, a much needed improvement because Comcast charges data overage fees of ten dollars for each every, every 50. additional fifty gigs. Yep. Today, a terabyte a month has taken hold as the default cap for numerous ISPs. Yep. Guess what just happened the other day for me? <laughs> got that? Got the email? Okay. Well, I had that freebie because uh-huh. you get two freebies. Yeah, yeah. I they used give you one of them, up. so it was like, hey. Did you do it again? You get to pay, spend ten dollars. <laughs> See, that can go out of the fan really quickly because fifty gigs. I mean, ten bucks, fifty gigs, right? Happens again. Ten bucks, fifty gigs. I mean, literally. Bucks. I mean, it, that can go. I, up high. I didn't realize, but it my PS4 was in rest mode, doing yep. updates and downloading crap. Yep. It took fifty gigs in a day. When you have like, caps, I didn't even you, can't, you have to like be aware of updates. I was like, so that means I have to keep my system off. So when I want to play it, I have to update for, update everything. Then that's, that's for instance, Cyberpunk we just talked about. Yeah, eighty gigs. Yeah. Right, close to hundred. So let's round up to hundred. Okay. Even though there's twenty, you're gonna use that twenty gigs for Netflix. Oh god, yeah. So a hundred, a hundred gigs, a hundred gigs is like ten percent of a terabyte. <laughs> yeah. So you've already used ten percent in one day, in an hour that's just probably. More, yeah. In one day of your month that you have to use yep, this. Thirty cap. days, and you've used ten percent already in one activity, and you haven't even played the game yet. Yep. So hopefully it goes up. I am not gonna hold my breath. Because no. that was in 2016. That was three years ago that the cap went from 300 gigs to a terabyte. Hey, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. And that's a good note to end on, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving on to IGN. They are going over the Netflix Witcher series that's coming out that I'm kind of excited, excited. for. Um, <coughs> um, specifically, people were like, hey, uh, why doesn't Geralt have two swords in the, in the Witcher photo? Alex, why? Because it's... Based off the books. Oh, it's based off the books. Now, for some reason, in a Witcher in the books isn't dope and have two swords. Lame. I, I mean, I think lame. It's the way they. I guess the way they they, they were they they're talking they're talking about it's like you know it's he's not based on the games. I mean, he. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some retrospect of the you know. Mm-hmm. There, oh, you see some parts in the games, but he's mo- mainly based on the books. Maybe that's why his medallion as well is different. That they showed instead of a dope wolf head looking yeah. thing, it's a circle with I a mean, wolf on it. Yeah, so like it depends. So I mean, it, it, they do want to be more book accurate than anything. So and I get they, it. Who, they could change it. I mean, it, I they, don't know. They won't. No, don't I mean, they could. He could I easily mean, add a sword. I guess. I mean, yes. Uh, and also, we're really harping on the sword thing. I don't really care that much. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, honestly. <laughs> and by the way, he, this he is by Nick cool. Lemon over on IGN. I mean, to me, in my opinion. And they did release a gallery. If you want to Google just Witcher. Uh, uh, First look or whatever. Yeah, first look pictures, I guess, or whatever. Um, there's a bunch of them. There's a really close-up of Henry Cavill's face. Uh, him on a mountain. Oh, there's some fog. It looks... Oh, everything looks cool. I mean... Honestly, he looks we, way better than that first picture they showed. Yeah, the, the, yeah teaser. they look bad. But looks to be fair, that a was better. a teaser, but that did look bad. Siri and Yen are shown off as well. Um, they look kind of cool. Siri looks kind of weird to me, honestly, only because, like... And honestly, I think it's the picture, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem very Siri to me. And there's no scar, which I kind of hate too. But whatever. That, again, it's it could be before. Yeah, it could any be. Of yeah. That, I mean, she again, gets this older, is the books, so and... that's I don't who I don't know how it's going to be projected, mm-hmm. or I, I don't know. Yeah, don't hate it. The, no, the logo is kind of cool. The yeah. logo has the logo is um, um the all wolf. three other symbols. Yeah, the end star. Yep. And the uh, hummingbird, I, I think, is what, what she is. Isn't she a hummingbird? Let me see. Or a dove or something like that. I forget. Uh, but that's basically yeah, it's each all three of them and symbol, it's all symbol, yeah. Um, and what they are. Which it seems like that the show is going to take around those three, those mm-hmm. three characters. <clears throat> um, yeah, and the original author was oh, Andrev Sapkonsky. Collection, uh, they, their collection of short stories and novels... Um, and they depict Geralt carrying only one iron sword on his back. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, see, like even like for example, in the in Witcher Three, Geralt had a big scar on on his face. Mm-hmm. I don't know because I, I don't know if you were talking about him or Siri. It was Siri, okay. But see, Geralt has a scar as well. But he Henry Cavill doesn't on this picture. And so these are very easy prequel, things where they can have fun the and yeah. they, they can it's have their, their own ad- reasons for yeah. the scars. It's their own adaptation of yeah. The Witcher. I mean, it, the characters are similar, but you, it could be a whole new different story. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I'm excited for it. I'm very excited. And hey, my man Henry Cavill, he played Superman. He looks, honestly, he looks dope. He does look dope. Like it, 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 Hairpiece could use a little work, but the hair everything piece. looks pretty cool, yeah. 
I mean, it, 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 it's gotten better from that first picture. <laughs> like that long, just it, straight it hair. It does look way better, yes. <laughs> yeah, like the picture of him just standing on the mountain like that. Uh-huh. It looks, uh, yeah. And you can tell, like, with the one that has his face, it looks like he has the gold eyes. It's just it's a weird side picture. Well, it's kind I of assume they're going to do, like, oh, he's in Witcher mode when his eyes glow or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, oh, there's cool side-by-sides, too. Yeah. Yeah, of the, the characters. Yeah. With, yeah. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm excited for it, so we'll see uh, how they uh, how they pan it out. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am excited. It looks like it's going to be more. And I'm wondering Witcher how Witcher Two-y because yeah. there, there's characters from Witcher Two. And I mean, like the little yeah. subtitle that they have. Witcher, Witcher for Two this, is a good story, so I'm excited. Yeah. The well, the subtitle that they have is called the. It says the worst monsters are the ones we create. So mm, we'll see what happens with that. Interesting. And now meaning because aren't witchers technically created? Aren't yes. They? Yeah. You so, have to do a lot of messed up stuff to your body. So meaning you drink a lot he, of potions and maybe po- he's literally not a witcher he yet. poison yeah. to like become stronger in certain parts. And see, maybe he's not a witcher yet, and that's what makes him become one in the show. So I'm pretty sure he'll be. That's a why I'm excited for it. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it too. Um, and this is something we just want to touch on for NBA fans. NBA 2K release date was announced, and the cover star was announced as well. This is at GameSpot by Kevin Knetsvik. The latest entry in 2K's annual uh, basketball series, NBA 2K20, returns this September, which I think everyone would have guessed. Mm-hmm. And it has Dwayne Wade on the cover. Good for Dwayne Wade. Ooh, I nice. like Dwayne Wade. Yeah. He used to be on Miami. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of special editions and stuff you can order. You can order the base one that gets you like a regular thing. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so you get f- five skill boosts if you get the regular game. Oof, there's a lot of just garbage in NBA 2K20 isn't there? And I want to touch on something real quick, Alex. Okay. This is a good transition into wrapping up the show as well. In-game currency. All right. Love it, hate it, rather have it without it. What's up? Because now, I only say this, I have experience with selling okay. in-game currency to people um, for where I work, and I'm selling the currency, and usually the person buying the currency almost always makes the remark of, this will boost me to X number level, yeah. or this will do this, or I need to get early to get this, meaning that this currency is tied <clears throat> to playing the game. Yep. Meaning, like, how strong you are, your overall player level, I believe is what it's called. <clears throat> so how good your character is in mm. your My Player. That is interesting that we got all up on Battlefront 2 for being pay to win, in yep. quotes, right? But no one in NBA seems to really care. <sighs> because I'm sure there's, I, and I'm sure there's people that do care that are yeah. like, I hate that I have to pay so much money or grind, and I don't know how bad it is to grind to 90. Mm. I heard it's pretty awful once you hit 90, and then you have to grind to 99 or something like that. Okay. But you can play the game and get that high. It's just apparently a ridiculous amount of just grind. So what do you think? Uh, I Honestly, I don't know too much about this NBA currency stuff. It I mean, have to be I mean I've heard... I've what, heard do, what do you think of loot boxes? Uh, Any in-game currency, right? I, I, don't, mind, I don't mind it. I mean, right. it's just... if you, It's what you want to do with it. I mean, if mm-hmm. you want to... If you want to pay to to get to get boosted, I mean mm-hmm. that's your prerogative. Mm-hmm. I mean it's, I it all. I mean if let's say if I if I just wanted to be able to, let's say though if you get those currency to unlock extra stuff and you want to do that right away, cool. If you want to do that, so that's it's just I, it it honestly it doesn't bother me at all. Is there any game you have played that has you have felt ruined the experience because there is in game a la loot, loot boxes or I some mean, sort of currency that you felt well now I feel like I need to pay to have fun in the game. Anything come to mind? I'm trying to think honestly. Um, I mean because like when we played Battlefield 2 or excuse me I'm sorry Battlefront, Battlefront 2 right it didn't really. I. I mean, I just played the game. I didn't really care. I right. did got. I, I did get a little annoyed with the loot boxes, mm-hmm. but I it wasn't. Too. It wasn't to where I wasn't. The game wasn't unplayable. It was just like, eh, I'd rather not just be up here. But whatever. Mm-hmm. I just never really opened them, and then eventually I did. I had so many. Mm-hmm. I yeah, mean, same. And I, I mean, it's like for example. I mean, uh, what else, what is another game? I mean, I. 
I can't. I can't really say Overwatch because it's just loot boxes for cosmetics. So you can't. And really... that's the annoying thing. Yeah. I want to complain about Overwatch, but it's literally it's, nothing but cosmetics. Yeah, it's just cosmetics. So it's like nothing tied to how good you are. Yeah. I'm just like, can you give me the things that look cool, like, like purposely? My big issue is when it is a loot box, yeah. and it's not something I can just buy now. For instance, Overwatch, I yeah. can use the in-game currency that I get from opening loot boxes to eventually to buy, buy another thing. And see, I rather that takes yeah. so long, though. Yeah. So it, it, to me, it just it just sours the mellow. Yeah. Right. Now, an, another uh, thing I wanted to bring up: I've been playing Hearthstone a lot more. Yeah, I, and, the, and Hearthstone's a very popular game. I just hit, I, I jump back in, yeah. play for two, three months, mm. jump back out. Then I've basically been repeatedly doing that since literally the first expansion. Yeah. So, and I think that was 2015 or something like that. Now I, it's it's been, been, so been a while. Long. Hearthstone's been out it, for a little for while. A I mean, while. It's good. I was there before Standard was a thing. So that, if you're a Hearthstone guy, you know what's what's up with that. But um. In that game specifically, I do feel like I need to spend money in order to have a good deck. Now yeah. there are uh, community, there is community made decks. Uh, it's called Hearthpone, where people get on there and make decks and put them up. And there are freely played decks. Mm. But to get like the cool thing, I do sometimes <clears throat> feel like I need to spend money to get the cool card. I do wish, for instance, um, there's a there's a mechanic in the game that's called Arcane Dust. Okay. And when you get a, an extra of a card, because you can only have two cards mm. of uh, one card, you can only have two versions of the same card. I, that should make sense, yeah. So you can only have two of one card. Mm. When you get more than one, they transfer that into Arcane Dust. Now, what I would prefer, there not be any Arcane Dust, and I just pay for the set, or maybe keep paying for packs until I eventually have all the sets. Basically, I don't want duplicates to be a thing, and I find that annoying. In yeah, the that's my thing. Like, um, I understand they want to put duplicates, and then you save money to get the really thing you want. Yeah. But, like, why can't I just spend 100 bucks in Hearthstone and get every card? Like, that sounds like a lot of money, but that's a, you get a lot of cards, you get, yeah. like, over 200. Yeah, that's my thing. It's, like, with duplicates and stuff like that. I was like, why can't you just, let's say... You do get a duplicate. Why can't you? I mean, just put an option to where you can exchange it for something else. Something of the or equal like if rarity. You, if you say, let's say you have multiple Apex, duplicates. Apex, for of example, something. you cannot get duplicates. Yeah, that, and they're very. See, and I enjoy that. And they're very upfront. Again, this is still EA technically, yeah. Yeah. right? It is owned by Respawn, but it is EA. And with that, you do not get duplicates in the little, uh, I guess, Apex packs. I think is what they yeah, called. Yeah, Apex, Apex packs. Yeah, so you can't get duplicates. It tells you in the screen, and it literally tells you the probability of everything you get in the game, which yeah. is insane. It's really cool. Yeah, they do it really well. Mm -hmm. And good for them because, again, they are coming from Battlefront 2 drama, so I'm sure they fix that in mm -hmm. every game from now on. But um, uh, uh, I wanted to bring up that uh, it is really cool that they tell you each probability. That is yeah. actually a law, I believe, in china or japan i honestly can't remember but it's it's one of those uh, countries yeah. that you have if you are selling a loot box you have to give each probability of every yeah. single item i know i forget which and if country you it was and if you remember this is why in kingdom hearts the mobile game that we played yeah. for a while oh yeah unchained x if yeah. you hit the button it tells you each probability of every single little yep. spirit yeah because that, that enjoyed that it's cool. a big game in yeah x y china or japan yeah, and they ha and they have to, so they just kept it. I forget game. which country it was. I don't know, remember if it was Australia, or Australia. Are you talking about when the, the, or they New were like, Zealand, where they were against banning the boxes? Or something yeah, like that. Uh, was it Australia. I want to say it was. I don't remember. Australia would make sense, but I feel like it was somewhere somewhere in Europe. Okay, I don't, I I don't just, remember. I, yeah. Um, but it, Australia is very against. Oh, well, not against. Sorry, they're very for banning things. Um, because um, they've decided some games aren't allowed to come in australia which is insane to me yeah but um yeah that's that's another example of of a, of a country getting involved in in games of course because mm. if the game is if they find the game immoral they won't sell it in their country so that's a little insane to me but then that's the australian uh way we'll, i guess we'll see what happens in the future we'll see um we'll see anything else you want to talk about alex anything on the tip of your mind Honestly. Question, comment, concern. Anything? Honestly, I think I'm just in. Really? The, I'm in the mood to go play some more. Yeah, action. yeah. You want to go play something? Yeah, man. I kind of want to go play I'm some more Moonlight. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe some Apex. Uh, another note: Apex season two starts tomorrow. Does so, it start tomorrow? Yes, but Ooh. by the time you're listening to this, it will already be out. So please uh, jump on if you want. Uh, to uh, tweet at me. I might, you know, yeah, might do up. a little squad or something if you guys want to play. Yeah, hit us up. Uh, I really like uh, uh, where Apex is going. The new hero looks really cool. Have you seen her? 
Oh yeah, oh, God, Watson. I, Watson, thank mm-hmm. you. I forgot. Yep. Her name. She, she looks cool. She has like electricity in her hands. And she shit. has like this force field thing too. Yeah, it looks. Pretty yeah, cool. so that there's been a, a bunch of like things they're trying to fix. Okay. Uh, they said season one has taken way too long, so they. <laughs> yes. Alex gave me a very approving like, God, yes, it has. <laughs> but yeah, with season one was way too long, so they they want to fix season two. Uh, they haven't said the date yet, so God, I assume I it's gonna be sh- shorter. I hope they fix the XP stuff. God, dude. Because if they do, then I would totally put 10 Me and Alex have a hardcore friend who did get to 110, by the way. Oh, my God. It's not even 100. It's 110. I I came back, and I'm like, whoa. (laughs) Dude, you play a line? He's like, no, I just play an hour a day. No, he didn't. No, you're bro, you're full of shit, and you (laughs) know it. (laughs) But anyways, um, yeah, it it took a lot. I got to 30-something, but to be fair, I wasn't playing as much. But still, though, Mm. like, Jesus but yeah, I'm. I'll play, probably play some Apex tomorrow. Yeah, and then we should play. And I'm just waiting on that that MacBook. There's a new. That uh, to there's a new, yeah. You get, yeah, you got you got another MacBook. Did you see the um, the uh, the new gun? Yes. yes so did, yeah. it looks a lot like an F2000 from a Call of bit. Duty. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but but it's, apparently, it's a giant energy gun. Basically. Yeah, but apparently the whatever, uh, like it's it's just like the whatever bullets it has, it's what you get. So that's with every, every legendary gun. Yeah, every like legendary in the game, gun, yeah. it's, it's the golden guns. Yeah. Um, Kraber, Mastiff, and then now Mastiff. that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Mastiff, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those the, those don't run off ammo. It has its own it's ammo. Almost, yeah. Yeah, and then you shoot and reload. But and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so this was, for that. yeah, this was this was a good podcast. I really had fun. I, we went over a lot of things. Let's just go over Dragon Tales. Yep. They're one being very confusing, and they're also different <laughs> genders. So very uh, now looking if back, very progressive Dragon, of them. If, if you've never seen Dragon Tales, go put it up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Make your kids watch it if you have kids. Because mm-hmm. and if you don't have kids, grab a random stranger off the sidewalk. <laughs> be like, hey, 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 come, come watch this. I this shit's crazy. Something. I need to show you something. And I gotta show you this thing and then cat dog. And we're gonna get real weird. Yep. <laughs> you know what's weird? But it's great. Invader Zim. Oh, such a good show. Invader Zim is very similar to Ren and Stimpy, where you yes, it's Ren like some Stimpy. people took acid and was like, let's write a show, some bro. People are, some people are against this stuff, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm good. I'm against what? A weird ass show. Dude, weirdos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people were like, cow and chicken and Ren and Stimpy. People were like, I'm not letting them watch that. I mean, but they, were like, very, I why, they were very, they were very graphic, and I can understand do? what do the it, parents do. The same stuff do they do? Yeah, the cartoon. Yeah. What's funny is, do you remember the Ren and Stimpy gag they did once, where Ren chopped wood on Stimpy's butt? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was to signify them having sex. Yeah. Hilarious. Can't believe that was a children's show. I'm pretty sure it was banned after that, too. I don't remember. Uh, it's, that was insane. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't watch it, look up a clip, literally, Ren chopping wood, or, and it will come up. It's, uh, it's yeah, hilarious, it's but it's also like, Jesus, this was a children's show? Motherfuck. Yeah, like, it's crazy. All right, guys. This was great. Again, let's go over a few things. Um, if you like us and you like this podcast, please support us over on patreon.com slash easy achievers. Uh, you give us a dollar, you get instant access to every exclusive show we do every month. Also, if you give us five dollars, that gives you every episode early. At, uh, as of recording, we always up- uh, upload as soon as possible. That's usually maybe an hour after recording. Uh, usually it's a yep. Monday. You get that instantly. Five bucks. Um, also, uh, again, our social is at EVM9000. Hit me up if you, again, question, comment, concern, thought, idea. Hit me up. Yep. Mine's at Crazy Flip Skater. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, we're also on Instagram and stuff. Mm-hmm. We're at probably going to start posting stuff. Everywhere, um, my other wife than wants to doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wants, she wants more pictures, so we got to get better on that. Um, but, yeah, thanks, guys. Yep. Uh, tune in next week on the exciting conclusion of Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a more like I wanted like a cooler way of ending the show, and I was like like Dragon Ball Z. You remember yeah, Dragon right? Ball yeah. Z? <laughs> next time on Dragon Nick. Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> see, see you guys next time on Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We're trying. <laughs>